show you the before image of my hair. I've just taken out the mini twists. They were in for about two weeks and they were constantly getting wet. So now my hair is really, really dry. Some parts are still maintaining like the curl from the twist out. You can kind of see it, uh, especially back here. And then some parts are just bushing up and <laughs> doing, their, doing their type four hair thing. Uh, which is whatever they want. Uh, so I'm going to give myself a steam treatment to try to put some moisture back in my hair. And with the deep conditioner, that usually defines my curls really, really well. And then after that, I am going to do a twisting curl. So stay tuned if you want to see the results. Okay, so the deep conditioner is in. And it feels wonderful. So I'm going to show you guys. This is what my hair looks like wet here's the texture I don't know if you can see sorry guys so I don't know if the camera is this good but you should be able to see like the steam coming out of the steamer that's usually when I put my head under obviously that was dumb um okay um yeah so do you see the steam coming out stupid <laughs> ah. Ah. okay the hair I mean the steam is coming out of the steamer I'm gonna put my head in here I go Two hours later. I've just washed the conditioner out and this is my hair wet with no product. I went ahead and sectioned it off in the direction that I want the twist out to go. So I usually have a part on the side and um, most of my hair going this way. And that's how I sectioned it off. Alright, so the first thing I do when I take the section out is I go and put a um, leave-in conditioner preferably a detangling one this one says detangling leave-in so it's perfect and it smells really really good and that's it for the leave-in then I go and decide how big of a chunk of hair I want to work with Okay, this size. This is a good size. Um, I think I want them to be kind of chunky today. So, I take a little clip. Clip this hair away. Just out of my way for the time being. times a charm. Boom. Okay. So after the leave-in conditioner, the first thing I put on the sectioned hair is a cream. In this case, I use the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil leave-in because it's a good detangler and it softens my hair. Then I follow up with a squirt of oil. This bottle I borrowed from a good friend has tea tree oil, castor oil, coconut oil, and a bunch of other goodies that make my hair feel and smell delicious. It's the bomb. And as you can see in the video, I'm kind of freaking out about it. Now, the trick to doing these twists is to kind of twist as you twist. I know that probably didn't make a lot of sense. Okay, you take this individual piece 
and turn your hand as you bring it over. And also smooth out the hair so that you don't get those um, creases. I don't know. I used to get, when I started doing these twist outs, I used to get creases, these sharp creases in my hair and it's because I would twist a curl instead of an actual stretched piece of hair. So I bring like after sleeping on them they actually hold up pretty well especially considering that I'm a very wild sleeper for the takedown it's actually really really easy the only thing I use is coconut oil the method of takedown is important because if you're not careful then it will come out super fuzzy and I mean the fuzzy look is cool but if you're going for the defined look then it can be kind of frustrating the first thing I'm going to do is take all of the blue rods out. Now, this part is very important. So what I do is I unsnap it and then I unwind it. I don't pull it off. I unwind it in the opposite direction that it was rolled. And this is what the curl should look like. So again, unsnap and carefully unwind in the opposite direction that they were rolled. When I go to unravel the twist, I put the coconut oil on my finger and then spread it along the length of the twist. That keeps frizzing and fraying down to a minimum. Then from there, I smooth it until I find where it naturally wants to unravel and I will start separation there. Based off of how much volume you want from your twist out, you can separate a bunch of times or you can only separate the twists. I tend to separate the initial twist and then separate each separate section one more time. Once that's done, the style is complete and I'm ready to go. Jackets, they are walking by